I've been feeling like really tempted to start to cut lately, especially since that uh, that 365 bench. I only got two reps. And one of like the main things that makes being on the book exciting is the strength and kind of the strength hasn't really been there. So it'll it could come back. I don't know, but I'm definitely getting excited for the cut. Uh, it's just something different, completely different thing to think about. It's more about the diet and the food and discipline and all that, where the bulk is just, you know, you don't have to really keep track of it. You just eat and eat and eat. And it leads to, you know, the strength. It leads to, you know, putting on size. Also getting fat, too. I think that's part of it. I think I'm tired of being fat. I think I'm ready to, to cut down. I think it'll be, I think I'll want to cut and stick to cutting more when it actually is time to cut this time than really ever before. Just because like I'm, I'm just the bulkiest I've ever been, the fattest I've ever been. I think being fat is like the motivation to to actually lose and to get down to that lower body fat percentage. So I think I'll probably be the most motivated. Today I'm gonna hit arms, it's arm day. I'm like, I'm kind of excited about arms, but I'm also kind of tired. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I think it'll be a good workout though, since I actually do want to hit arms. Because lately it's been kind of boring. I'm for sure going to start with, uh, what's it called? The Preacher Curl Machine. The Machine Curls. I'm definitely going to start with that. And then to probably superset it with, uh, I think I'm going to do Dumbbell. Dumbbell Skull Crushers. So I've been doing Easy Bar a lot lately. Get my good sets in with that. I don't know if I'm going to do 10 sets. I think I did, my last arm day I did 10 supersets of the machine curl with easy bar skull crusher. So 10 sets each, it's 10 sets all supersetted. That's how I started the workout. I don't know if I got 10 in me today. I might do things a little differently. I might switch things up a little bit more and go to more of like a, a regular arm day where I do like three or four sets of each exercise and do more different variations. But I'm not sure. I know for sure that's what I want to start with. And then after that, it's just up in the air and it's going to depend on how many sets I can get myself to do. Because I think it is good to do a lot of sets of like the basic exercises, like, you know, machine curl. It's basic. It's always a really good one for biceps. And then of course the skull crusher, always known as like a basic free weight uh, tricep exercise. You know, you can build some strength with it depending on how you do it. You can definitely build the triceps with it. I think it's great for like a negative, it gives you a really good negative. And then, you know, contracting up. I think there's exercises where you definitely get a better contraction, but I think the negative is probably one of the best exercises when you're lowering that weight. You gotta lower it with some control. It doesn't mean you have to go super, super slow, but you know, just controlling it and keeping that tension on the tricep on the way down. You can do a few reps really slow and then speed it up a little bit. That's always nice. Switching tempos is definitely something that you should do more often. Most people probably don't do it enough. I know for the longest time I didn't do it enough, but switching up the tempos, even just like set to set, you know, slow, medium, partials, fast, whatever. But the tempo that you lift at, and switching it up, I think helps a ton. You gonna hit that arm day. Arms are super important. One, because I, I feel like my arms are small, even though they probably aren't that small, but I think they look small in proportion to everything else. So it's definitely important. And also, since I am still bulking and I still wanna try and you know bench and lift heavy, the bigger your arms are, the easier it's gonna be to bench heavy, especially you know since I do tend to struggle with lockout. I can get it off my chest, but a lot of times I struggle to lock out. So the tricep strength and the arm size is definitely key. So I'm always trying to switch things up on my arm training to try and get any amount of growth out of them, even if it's a small amount. You always want to try and improve. I'm gonna, you know, probably have some pre-workout. After I have my pre-workout, gonna go hit that arm day.
starting off with uh, five supersets. The curls, the skull crushers, the dumbbell ones are great because you can go all the way down until that dumbbell touches your shoulder and you can twist your wrist at the top to get a, a better contraction. And of course, machine curls are always great just because like the angle and all you gotta really do is contract, just contract hard and try and hold that contraction on the way down. It'll feel great. So five supersets to start the workout off. It's uh, 10.30 p.m. Pre-workout's kicking in, feeling good. Gonna be an awesome arm day, so just getting it started. Another nice superset, did five supersets, so five sets each. The straight bar push downs, always great. You can go really heavy on them, that's what I did. I pushed myself to go heavy. And then uh, both arms at the same time. Dumbbell curls, obviously dumbbell curls are great. You can do a lot of different variations of them. Dumbbell is one of the best things you can use to develop those biceps, so great. Superset, five supersets again. Five more supersets. As you can see, I'm doing five supersets of every superset. So the rope, probably the best one in my opinion for triceps. You can really get a good contraction. You can really feel like, it just feels like I'm shaping the tricep when I do it. So it's always a staple. One of the key exercises in my opinion. Then I sat down on the bench and I did some like alternating. Get one arm, then the other arm, kind of work them on their own and kind of alternate too, so one can rest while the other works. So that's also a great way to do dumbbell. So I did two different types of dumbbell. The last superset and then the superset I just did. So two different exercises, both using dumbbell. Now I got like one superset left, so probably gonna do like overhead with the rope. And I haven't done any cable curls yet, so I'll probably hit some cables.
complete. That last superset, I did five supersets of everything, and I meant to do five supersets of everything, except that last one I only did four. I had to go to the bathroom, and it just kind of killed it if I didn't finish that last set, but four supersets for the last, uh, the last superset. Everything else I got five in, so pretty solid arm day. Pump feels nice. The arms don't really, I don't know, I'm not really happy with them today, but they're probably, they're probably gonna look a little bit better if I was a little leaner. So I think that's one of the things with arms too. It's just kind of like, I'm, I'm bulky, so I'm kind of like inflated and I don't really have like the, I don't really have the definition or anything. So when I hit arms or, I think my chest is still pretty lean. I like the way my back looks, but arms, they just don't look that good. They look big, they inflate, like the pump feels huge. It feels like my skin is stretching. I even got some uh, some stretch marks on my biceps, so I've grown a little bit, but I think that's just because I, uh, I was like, I, I cut and then I maintained. So I was like at the same weight for like a long period of time, like a year, and then I bulked. So like going from just maintaining and being that same size, for so long and then going into a bulk where I got, you know, as heavy as I've ever been. I think that's kind of what led to it. Kind of got some stretch marks around my armpit area, kind of where like my rear delt attaches to my lat. So I, I don't think it's like, because I'm growing that fast. I think it's just cause I like maintained for so long and then I did a pretty aggressive bulk. So kind of stretched me out a little bit, but it's fine. We'll, We'll cut back down and I gotta try my best to like slowly bulk up and then slowly cut down instead of being like, oh, I'm just tired of this. I'm just gonna bulk up and then just bulking up really aggressively. Same thing with the cut. I don't wanna just cut down really aggressively, although it probably will be tempting when I start the cut. Can't go into too big of a deficit, but that's arm day. I think I got legs tomorrow. I usually don't record legs, so the next workout will most likely be another chest workout, some chest and delts.